Well over 100 encounters with unidentified flying objects now detailed in a new report out of the Pentagon. Now, many of the mysterious sightings right here off the Southern California coast. Yeah, but does it answer the question of whether we're alone in this universe? KCO 9's Lori Perez went to the experts. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. This video, taken during a U.S. military training mission, is one of 144 encounters with UFOs, or what the government calls UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena that U.S. intelligence studied. Here's another one from off the SoCal coast. And of the 144 sightings, investigators only one. It's vindication of sorts for this man. They are real. Who says he's a veteran and has seen UFOs himself. He didn't want to be identified because he says people don't believe him. Don't I have my own experience. I've seen things that you can't explain. But Dr. Seth Chostak is a senior astronomer with SETI, the nonprofit search for extraterrestrial intelligence team. There's no one who would have been more excited about proof of aliens in our airspace than him. But that's not what this report says. It says there are a bunch of mysterious things that we don't like understand, but there's no real evidence presented that any of it has to do with aliens. He's among those in the scientific community who say the headline of the Pentagon's nine-page report is this. All it means is that we just don't know and we need to do more work to understand it. But what about this? The report concludes what's seen in the videos are physical objects, that they may pose a challenge to U.S. national security, and acknowledges there have been 18 encounters in which UAP demonstrate advanced technology that U.S. experts, again, cannot explain. Casey Dreyer is senior space policy advisor for the Planetary Society. To claim that a UFO or a UAP is the result of an advanced alien technology coming to Earth and looking around and only being seen in blurry photos, that is a very extraordinary claim, and we have almost zero evidence for that. Both agree if the report doesn't change mind about what they think is out there, that's okay. We should be excited to discover things that are unknown. But we need to remember that just because we want something are here, they're pretty good house guests. They don't seem to do it. The found no evidence. What's seen is surveillance or next generation tech from another country. And experts agree the report's official status destigmatizes reporting UFOs or talking about them in a serious way. In San Pedro, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.